Well, welcome everyone. We have a big discovery I want to share with you guys, and this one's pretty massive because you can easily make 1,400 gold for free each day if you do this correctly. And this is using the exchange in my server. So let me show you guys about how to get more leap stones and sell those. And also, there's also other ways to get more leap stones because as you see in this video over here, I was trying to go for tier, tier three. And guess what happened, guys? Iron Jesus is like, no, Matt, <laughs> you got to fail. <laughs> so I went to the auction house, I bought the leap stones, and I wanted to upgrade again. And this time I was like, please, please, just, just let me do it. And I tried again at 64%. Guess what? Iron Jesus says, nope, you fail again. <laughs> so I was so sad, and I lost 10,000 gold worth of materials and items this way. And it's okay, guys, I got over that. But then the, my Chaos Dungeon didn't drop all my gears. It couldn't drop all the tier 3 gears. So for the for the past like three hours, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so unlucky. <laughs> but it's okay, guys, my luck has turned. I mean, it's a little too late for me to do this, but I really want to share with you, this with you guys ASAP, because you can get tons of lipstone this way. So let me show you guys the whole process of what happened. So those are my notes. We'll come back to them very soon. So just let me show you guys what I discovered. So if you come over to the cash shop, and if you go to this section, which I never click, because who needs things over here, right? But what you're going to notice is there is a special item over here that is purchasable called the Nunes Task Daily Plus One. And I have purchased one of those. It is too late for me to do my dailies this way, but I asked my guildmates and asked around, what happened is, you can get this item, you can get one extra daily quest each day. Now, this doesn't seem to be a big deal to us, right? Right? No, no, it's a big deal, guys. So, this item sells for 50 gems. Keep that in mind. And let's see what we get if we were to do one extra daily quest right now. So, I usually do the three daily quests, and the daily quest will give me leapstone because those sell the most. And I'll explain to you guys how to make the gold each day, 1,400 gold. There is quest that gives you eight leapstones over here, tier two leapstones. Now let's keep going, coming back to my notes. So this is what we're going to do. We'll get those extra ticket to do one extra daily quest, which will give us eight more leapstones. Or this can also give us moon breath, harmony shards. It is not worth it. Now, if you guys are doing the Guardian Raids daily, you can get 9 times to 18 tradable leapstones a day from the 7th trade boss. This one's pretty easy. And each of those sells for about 180 gold on my server and even higher. I'll show you guys over here. There's <laughs> so many overlays. Over here, I just sold my leapstone for 180 gold and made 1,600 you know, gold just by doing this. So what I'm trying to suggest is we will be buying those Unas plus one daily quest ticket and get eight untradeable leapstone this way. So this way, you use the untradeable ones for yourself. You sell the guardian rate leapstones this way, and you can sell those for, you know, easily, you know, 3,600. So what I did was, let's have a look at the calculation. You get extra leapstone, which is eight of those, which is worth 1,600 gold. Now, how do you get gems? So I also discovered that you can actually find the gem shop over here. So if you over here, look at me in my head. So you can see my mouse is, you can come to the currency exchange and you can purchase the, you can purchase gems with gold. Before it was 350 gold for 95 gems. Now it's 260 gold for 95 gems. So the gold is fluctuating. Notice here the sellable price is 342 gold. Now let's have a look at a quick calculation. Let's say if I use 350 gold to buy 95 gems, which will be sold instantly. I will spend 50 gems to buy the plus one daily quest, which will give me eight leapstones. And this is half of the 350 gold I spent, right? So basically 175 gold doing this way will get you eight leapstones, which is 1,600 gold worth of value on the market. So the difference you make over here is pretty much you make 1,400 free gold by doing this way. Now, just to give you guys a whole explanation. So what you do is you can use gold to buy gems. So over here in the shop, you can use gold to buy gems. And you can find this shop over here with the shortcut in the cash shop, you can find over here. So if you use your gold to buy gems, and then you come over here to use the gems to buy the plus one dailies. So there's one over here. So if you buy those plus one dailies, which I bought one over here, you can use them. And on the next day, you will get plus one to your daily task. And this daily task can be given, this will give you eight more lipstones. So you can then sell your lipstones from the Guardian Raid for additional gold. Because 
some of us don't sell them because they're tradable, but we want to use it ourselves. So this gives you more untradable ones, which allows you to sell the tradable ones you get from the Guardian rate. Now, of course, we can still use those. So, you know, you can use more of them and faster your progression to tier three. But just doing this, you know, this loop around by using gold to buy gems, then buy the plus one ticket, then get more daily quests, you are effectively making 1,400 free gold each day. So you should definitely be doing this each day because it takes only five minutes to do a daily quest. Now, unfortunately, I can't do this anymore. This only works if you can use the untradable ones. But once you get over to tier three after 1,100, this is actually not doable because I can't do this because I don't need the untradable ones anymore. So this is only doable while you're still in tier two. So make sure to capitalize on this and make tons of gold each day by doing this. And if you guys remember in my video, I actually lost about, you know, 10,000 gold because I keep failing at plus 15. So it's kind of sad, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Now, if you guys are looking for more leapstones, because I have a lot of viewers asking me about this, I have also listed all the ways to get more leapstones in the game. So here I'll give you guys a summary. So in a guild shop, you can purchase four leapstones with shop level one unlock in a guild shop. And this is weekly. Now, in the Chaos Exchange shop, which I always type that run, so it's a Chaos Exchange, we can exchange for 30 of the Lipstones weekly. And also, if you get your Guardians first clear, you can get anyone from 4 to 10 Lipstones, depending on which boss it is. And also, the Welcome Pack will give you more Lipstones. So if you guys have a look over here on the Gear Upgrade, if you clear the first Guardian of the each tab, you will get a lot of Lipstones. I believe there's 40 over here, and there's also another one. There's also a bunch over here, there's 30 over here. So you get 70 of those Lipstones if you clear your Guardians using the Welcome Rewards as well. Now, I do have my own question. I was having trouble to clear the fourth and also the eighth boss for tier two. Because the mechanics are harder, you can't find randoms to do it. But the rest bosses are much easier. So what you might want to do is, if you have a tier three friend, ask them to come and help you with the fourth boss, which doesn't have much HP. You can tank it out or just let him solo it. And as for the eighth boss, this one does have a one-shot mechanics. And I was lucky enough to happen to get into a party with a random tier three player. We just gave all the revives to him and he actually killed it by reviving. <laughs> he had enough damage. Now, what I also noticed is people were selling those carries for about 200 to 500 gold. Now, if you were to get 10 lipstones from clearing this, this might still be worth it. And, you know, basically you pay someone 200 gold for them to join your party, help you clear the eighth boss once to get the 10 lipstone on the first clear. <clears throat> now, do keep in mind, those lipstones are not tradable. So it is only profitable and worth it because of the market currently, because lipstone sells for 180 gold. And by doing all the Guardian Raids and clearing them for the first time, clearing the reward from the Welcome Pack, you can get over 150 Lipstones this way, which are not tradable, but it will help you progress to Tier 3 much, much faster. Now, I also forgot to mention, we can also buy Lipstones in the cash shop, and we have talked about this as well. So the same method we buy the gems, using gold to buy gems, and then spend gems to buy the Lipstones. So over here, it costs about 14 gems to get 10 Lipstones, and those are Tier 2 Lipstones. And this is by far the best deal if you guys are using gold to get gems and then get lipstones. So don't forget about this one, guys. I can't get those values anymore because I don't need them anymore. While you still need them at tier two, make sure you get those as well. Now, there's also other ways to get more lipstones and also other materials. One is going to be the boss rush ticket. You can be getting those from your two daily entries, the first two from the KS Dungeon by random drop. You can also purchase a box over here with the guild shop. We have talked about this before, but I just want to share with you guys. So you can purchase this particular box, which have a chance to drop the boss rush and also the cube ticket, which also gives a lot of good reward. So I do recommend buying this one. I actually didn't buy this one because I didn't have enough red crystals and I wasn't in a guild, so I didn't have a guild shop. I just managed to join a guild just now, but now it's too late for me again. I'm already tier three, so it's not good anymore because the item drop from the tickets are not tradable. So you get about, I think you get about 48 lipstones by doing the boss rush and plus the, the weekly thing, you get about 70 lipstones doing the boss rush, not tradable. You get about 25 moose breath, not tradable by doing the cube, which is tier two. Now, finally, to get more lipstones, there is a golden and also a purple hidden room in a chaos dungeon. 
if you clear this on your first two daily entries, I believe I had a recording, I couldn't find it anymore, so I got about 15 to 20 bonus lip stones by doing a golden room on my first two daily entry. But unfortunately, it only drops gold instead of the moon's breath. Now, if you are clearing this one after your two daily entries, let's say if you just farm in a clear star dream for the exchange shop, there is also lipstones bonus drops from finding a golden and also purple room. And I do believe you get one moon breath for clearing the golden one, you get 10 moon breath for clearing the purple one, and that's after you run out of your daily entries. Now, those are not tradable, but those are massive value, which allows you to sell the ones you get which are tradable. Where do you get the trader one ones? So you get from the raid, the guardian raid, and you also get from the KS gate maps. So a lot of players were a little confused. What do you mean by value? What do you mean by that? Is that those are two sources of we can get leap stones and also the mooth breath, which are tradable. Instead of using those, you can get the not tradable ones and sell the tradable ones. And this is one of the ways I can make more gold. Notice I'm back to about 13,000 gold after wasting 10,000 gold doing the upgrades on my, you know, on my fails. Now the chance of getting those golden rooms, I've been looking around and some of the viewers were telling me, the lucky players, every four rooms, you get one of the golden rooms or purple rooms. The medium luck players, every 10 rooms, you get a hidden room. And for me, every 20 rooms, I got one of them. So I wasn't very lucky. But it is still worth it if you have the free time to do the Chaos Dungeon. Because even if you're out of the daily entries, you can still get the golden rooms for Moon Breath and also Lipstone. Now, hopefully this video helped you guys. And I do think this is a massive, massive discovery because we keep looking for ways to get more things. And I, right now, Lipstone and other materials are very, very expensive. And to progress into tier two, you know, to progress into tier 3, you need so much of those. And having this extra daily quest can be very good. Only, guys, only if you really want those items and you want them fast. And this, if you do the calculations like me, make sure you check the calculation. If it works, if you get more gold, then do this way. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys, and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.